All right, job number 20259. This is Lakeridge Apartments. Uh, Aloys and I just did a pre-con out here in the, I'm gonna start off with the lower lot here. Um, things have changed a little bit as far as stall layout. Um, and then also uh, with some crosshatch striping added. I need to make an RFC for crosshatching uh, as well as some uh, curbing and asphalt up on the upper lot. But here we are at the lower lot, lot five. And uh, I'm going to tell you the numbering sequence right now is going to be 1 through 19, starting from the left, 1 through 19, going clockwise to this last stall. So in this first section right here, there'll be six uh, parking stalls here, eight foot uh, wide on each one. And you'll want to make sure you start your layout from the edge of that sidewalk and go this way, um, six stalls, okay? So make sure you measure from here, this direction, eight foot per stall. And if there's anything extra down there, then they can have it in that stall. Same thing goes right here, starting from the edge of the sidewalk here. We want to go one, two, three stalls at eight foot wide. And in this last stall, it's going to be bigger, but we want it to be bigger for this car right here. Okay. You make your way over here. You've got the sidewalk right here that we want to make crosshatch. Go all the way out. Um, as if it's a normal cross-hatched walkway. So we'll do cross-hatching through here as well as over in this little area until you get out to the length of the stall. So where these stall lengths come out, that's what we want to do with this cross-hatching here. So that's about a 17 foot by uh, 3 foot. And then you got another 2 feet. So 17 feet roughly by 5 foot is cross-hatching there. That equals out to about 70 feet of striping in there for crosshatch. Okay, then you've got a sidewalk that comes up here, and from this sidewalk, we're going to take away this stall here and put in a crosshatch walkway going this direction. This is about three and a half feet wide, so we'll go out 17 feet by let's say 17 feet by four feet straight out and do crosshatch here. So now they have access into the drive aisle from. This cross hatch, so from the edge of this sidewalk right here, you need to go two nine foot stalls. So a nine foot stall here, a nine foot stall there, and uh, I just realized I need to make a change to that. So if we put nine foot here and nine foot here, that means the rest of this area is gonna end up being cross hatched. Okay, so nine foot stall, nine foot stall, and then this huge area with cross hatching. So there'll probably end up being another foot or two extra so let's say that's going to be about 80 feet of striping for crosshatch there. Then you got about 50 feet of crosshatch striping here with a walkway that comes straight off from the sidewalk. From the edge of the sidewalk there, going this direction, so measure from here and go that way evenly 8 foot wide on your parking stalls. And then when you get down here to the end, that last parking stall will be a little bit wider. Okay, so that is the lower lot and again Measuring uh, or counting one through 19, going clockwise, ending there, starting here. All right. Okay, so down in that lower lot, uh, the RFC was going to be to add the three cross hatched uh, areas down there. Um, on that first sidewalk that was down there, I forgot to mention that's supposed to be a cross hatched walkway coming out 17 feet by three feet. So that was like another 50 feet. So total is 80 feet plus 50 feet plus 50 feet. That's uh, eight, that's 130, that's 180. 180 feet of crosshatch striping to add in that lower lot. Then you got this middle lot, lot six. You see the white car parked here? We need to bring a parallel stall line out from the sidewalk um, about, mm, it's about eight feet. And then go 20 feet up the drive, which is we just passed that curb entrance there. There'll be a stall line right there for parallel. And this will create another parking stall here. And then you go 20 feet and then make another parallel stall line that comes out eight feet. And then both of these stalls right here needs to be labeled with a 12 inch 
word that says office and then office there. Okay, so I'm in the upper lot now, which down there it says lot seven. So I'm in lot number seven. As you come up the hill here, you got this one park install. It's not gonna be a park install anymore right there, at least the way it is. Instead, well, they were talking about doing a uh, parallel parking stall there, but what they didn't realize is that's that goes into the fire lane right there, so they can't do that. So never mind. I was going to say to do a parallel stall here, but we cannot do that. I'll let the customer know. Um, curbing stays the same, goes from here to there, and then uh, I believe we weren't going to curb right here. All right. And down here at the very end at the trash enclosure, this is the last thing that we need to uh, add. So we got that lower lot uh, with the cross hatching, and then this upper lot in lot number seven, we're gonna add some asphalt. So just to recap on this trash enclosure though, we're not taking asphalt all the way to the very back of the wall. We're gonna bring it this direction so that way we don't have failed asphalt on the back side. So where the dumpster sits right now, that's about as far back as we're gonna go with the asphalt. And this curve's getting taken out. But right here, we're gonna take this back about a foot. Excuse me, 